Hey guys, my name's Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the Jeep Grand Cherokee, the WK, 2014 through 2020. Today I'm going to show you guys all the different radio options you have if you want to upgrade to a factory 100% plug and play pre programmed radio. Okay, so in this particular vehicle, um, this looks familiar to a lot of you with the Laredo. This is the base model, what they call the RA2 option code. This comes with and without satellite radio, something we definitely offer with satellite radio. Um, a next step up from there would be the 8.4 inch screen. So from 2014 to 2017, they offered the 8.4 inch screen. They have a RA3 sales code and an RA4 sales code. The RA4 has built-in GPS navigation and HD radio, and the RA3 does not. So starting in 2018, they came up with a revised 8.4-inch radio. This is called the UAQ. They also have um, the UAS. So the UAQ has built-in uh, GPS navigation. The UAS does not. However, one of the biggest upgrades that this has compared to the other one, this has embedded Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, so an awesome upgrade here. And then, starting in 2019, they offered this. This is the UAV option code. Digital screen, um, high def, uh, 8.4 inch, all built in. So just a really, really nice system here. Now, guys, all of these radio options we carry at infotainment.com, 100% plug and play. You're not going to lose any feature. Uh, your backup camera, your steering wheel control, satellite radio, your Bluetooth hands-free, you retain it all. Um, so basically what I'm going to show you guys today is I'm going to show you guys how to take apart your current dash and I'm going to tell you the ins and outs of all these different upgrades. So let's get started. All right, guys, as I mentioned, this is the RA2 system. It comes with and without satellite radio. If you happen to have this radio here and you just want to add satellite radio, get with us and we'll be able to get you that system. It'll come with a satellite radio antenna, super easy to install, and you're up and running. I won't show a video on that just because uh, it's pretty low in demand, but we can certainly help you out with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started here with the RA4 sales code. This is the one with embedded GPS navigation. This works from 2017, or I'm sorry, 2014 to 2017. Okay, so uh, very easy to install. Uh, we're going to pull off the what we call the bezel here, the instrument panel bezel. Um, just held in with retaining clips. Then it's just four screws that hold in the radio. All right, the first thing I usually do is just pop the lower cubby here. Then you can kind of grab a hold of the instrument panel bezel and just pop it out. Now it's just held in with retaining clips. You can also use like a dash pry tool, work around the perimeter. Um, but basically it's just retaining clips that hold this into place. You may feel like you're going to break it or something. Don't worry, you're not. It's designed to come out that way. And then you just unplug this little connector right here. You could set this aside. All right, now you can see the four seven millimeter screws, so you can just remove those. Then you can pull your radio out. Now this little connector here, you push the tab in on the end and then just lift up and that connector comes out. The other connectors here, there's a little tab you press and comes out. These two connectors here have little tabs as well. Sometimes if you kind of push it in and then pull out, it comes out a little easier. All right, now we're ready to install the RA4 system here. Um, we do uh, supply a little cable here. It's called our 911 cable. Um, it's just going to emulate the signal for the vehicle phone. So it's just a little dummy cable, plug it in there. Um, and then what we're going to do is lift up on the lever here slide it in and then push the lever down okay that'll allow um, the uh, main connector to go right in and then it's as easy as just plugging in the existing connectors back in to the same uh, fact reports and then slide it into place you'll notice it lines up exactly 
with your old radio. So um, we'll go ahead and put all the screws in. Alright guys, because the other bezel has a smaller cutout for the other radio, um, in this particular case, we will include the larger bezel. Okay, so it does have the 8.4 inch cutout. Now these bezels come in different colors and variations, so be sure to give us your VIN number so we can supply you with the one you need. But it pops into the exact same location. We're going to go ahead and plug our climate control uh, connector in. We could go ahead and remove our screen cover. And then this simply just pops right in. Alright guys, now that we have the bezel installed and all buttoned up, let's go ahead and turn the vehicle on and check it out. Right away you notice the nice big 8.4 inch screen, just a huge upgrade from the RA2. Um, here you'll notice within the radio soft key you have AM, FM. Now the RA3 does have HD radio, which is pretty cool for those of you who know about that. Um, Sirius XM. If you tune to channel zero, it will tell you the satellite radio ID, or you can also find it through the setup menu if you want to begin a subscription with Sirius XM. Within the media button here, you can get access to the USB, the AUX, Bluetooth streaming audio, uh, just like you could before through your um, media hub in the cubby. Also, like before, you could control your climate right through the screen. Now you have, a, obviously, a lot bigger view um, to be able to adjust what you need and, uh, and move on. This little apps button here, um, it does take about 45 seconds to load. and It will show you all the different apps. Um, it's pretty cool. You can actually hold an app down, drag and drop it, um, do whatever you want to do down here on the bottom home row. So let's go ahead and just, for instance, drag settings down there. Um, if you have heated or vented seats or whatever, you can drop those down there too if that's something you frequently go to. Um, in the settings here, you can come in here and adjust all the vehicle settings. This is great, guys, because if you stay with factory, you retain the ability to change all the vehicle's features and settings. Uh, for instance, lights, you know, you wouldn't get this if you went aftermarket. You wouldn't be able to change a lot of the vehicle settings, not necessarily radio settings. Um, you can come in here, add a phone through Bluetooth, uh, change your audio, uh, equalizer, so on and so forth. One thing I did want to point out here in settings under display, you also get a lot of different wallpapers you can choose from. So within the theme, you can come in here, you can see the background changes, some of the colors change. Um, pretty cool little option there. Um, believe there's seven different ones to choose from, so that's kind of neat. Obviously, the RA4 has the embedded navigation system. As I mentioned, the RA3, which is just a little bit cheaper, does not have nav. For those of you who maybe want to check that out on our website, um, this is the RA4, so it does have nav. Awesome system. The directions um, come through your speakers when it tells you the prompts. Um, the turn by turn shows up in your EVIC cluster, which is really neat with the arrows, tells you when to turn. Um, so really cool system here. Uh, you could search by address, recent, um, set your home address so it's just one push and you're going home. You don't, you're not holding your phone and you know trying to drive you don't have anything on your windshield this is all embedded factory jeep navigation so just a cool upgrade right here um, if you go to maps you can see it pinpointed our location sometimes you sometimes you got to drive around for a few minutes to to link uh, to the satellites but you'll see uh, it found us already pretty cool if you go under options you could change it from 2d 3d maps uh, the settings uh, how you want the map to appear, um, you know, do you want it to auto zoom, what is the icon you want, you can change it to, you know, whatever you want. So, kind of cool there through the options. Uh, as I mentioned the phone, if you'd like to go ahead and pair your phone, just hit yes, do the Bluetooth pairing procedure, you'll get right back onto Bluetooth here. 
Um, so just an awesome upgrade. Remember, uh, your audio controls, your camera, those of you who have backup camera, everything works plug and play. It's all pre-programmed. So just an awesome upgrade. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys um, the Apple CarPlay Android Auto system. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this system here and show you guys how that particular system works. So the RA3 and RA4 option codes, this here uh, works from 2014 to 2017. The next ones I'm going to show you, which is the UAS slash UAQ, that works from 20. Um, 14 through 2020. So let's get started. All right, guys, um, something I want to point out when you're using Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you need to replace your media hub. Now, your media hub is located in this cubby down here. It's very easy to replace. There's just a couple T15 Torx screws that hold it in place. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So basically, what you're going to want to do is remove your bezel, just like we did before. I'm going to go around the perimeter. Now once we remove the bezel, you'll see two 7mm screws right here. So we're going to go ahead and unplug this guy here. And then we're going to remove those two 7mm screws. Now there's two more screws on the bottom of the cubby. So what we're going to want to do is pull up on our armrest. Alright, so then we're just going to pop this piece up. Okay, this just pops right up. And then we're going to basically pull it up and twist it. You notice the two screws down there. So now we can remove those two screws. Now, in order to pull this cubby out completely, I found it easiest, instead of removing the shifter, um, basically what I do is I just start the vehicle, put the emergency brake on, and then just pull it all the way back so you're in the drive. Just keep your foot on the brake, and then that allows you just to slide this out, okay? You're going to come from behind here, and you're going to disconnect the cigarette lighter. And if I can get it out a little bit more so you can see, there's two other connectors in here. One of it is a USB connector, another one is a power and ground connector, which plugs into the media hub. Now all we have to do is just remove these four screws, and then we can just replace the hub. All right guys, just like I mentioned, there's four T15 screws. Very easy, just pull those four screws out. Okay, uh, remove your old hub media hub and then you're just going to put the new one right in the exact same spot now the reason why you have to replace your hub in 14 to 17 vehicles is the hub the internal board in the hub is designed to work with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto unfortunately the hubs did change in 2018 so you do have to replace that in order to keep um, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay working with the um, UAS and UAQ upgrade, which we're going to demonstrate now. All right, guys, now we have the new Media Hub installed. It's nice and flush and factory. So now let's start install the cubby. So I did put it in park before when I pulled it out, so I'll go ahead and put my foot on the brake. Plug all of our connectors in the same way you took it out. And then this whole cubby will just slide back into place. Now that it's back in place, we can re, um, reinstall the two screws on the top, two screws on the bottom. Then we'll go ahead and plug that guy in there.
All right, now that the cubby's back in, let's go ahead and put our little center console back. Remember guys, I only recommend doing the whole pull and twist off without having to remove the gear shifter if your parking brake is in. So um, anyways, now that that's all done, uh, let's go ahead and shut the vehicle off. Now, just like before, we're gonna go ahead and remove the four screws. Now I wanna make a point that some of you may have this factory installed already in your vehicle. If you wanna go to the next two options, um, it's perfectly fine. You don't have to have the base model radio. So um, I'm going to go ahead and remove these four screws. Now we're going to install the UAQ system. And then reinstall our four screws. Now we can install the exact same bezels we had before. Go ahead and peel off our screen protector. Pop it into place. All right, now with the UAS and the UAQ 8.4 inch screens, it's required for it to align itself to the vehicle's BCM. Although the radio has been pre-programmed by us, now it needs to marry to the vehicle's computer. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle. Sometimes it'll show a Chrysler splash screen or something else. Um, you'll see AM, FM. It doesn't have SAT quite yet. So basically what we're gonna do is we're simply just going to shut the vehicle off and now it's going to configure itself to the vehicle's computer. Sometimes that process takes 10 minutes, sometimes it takes an hour. But you know whenever you start it back up and that Sirius XM icon shows that it's been aligned to the vehicle's computer. So we're going to go ahead and shut the doors and lock it and give it about 15-20 minutes and come back. Alright guys, we let it sleep for a little bit of time there. So let's go ahead and start it up and check it out. Now the first thing you'll notice, if the camera can get it, is it's got a high resolution display. The display isn't as crystal clear as the next radio, which I'll show you guys in a few minutes, but just an awesome upgrade here. Um, some enhancements right off the bat from the RA3 or RA4 system, the older 8.4 inch, um, is right away the clearer screen. So before, just like before, you have AM, FM, Sirius XM. Your media button, just like before, you can gain access to Bluetooth streaming audio, aux input, USB through the uh, hub that we installed. Climate, similar as well. You'd be able to control your full climate right through here. You connect apps. Uh, one thing I did want to point out is um, if you guys currently have Uconnect access, that's the smartphone app where you can remotely unlock your doors and stuff like that. This particular unit here has Sirius Guardian. It's not Uconnect Access. So you do forfeit the Uconnect Access feature by going to the Sirius Guardian. Just wanted to throw that out. Um, unless we come up with a different option here in the near future. But as of right now, it is uh, something you will lose. That is only for people who pay each month for Uconnect Access. Um, so anyways, um, you can see here. Uh, in the nav, you have, um, this one is the UAQ, as I mentioned. The UAS does not have nav. It is a little bit cheaper. Um, but uh, similar to the RA4, you can search by address, recent, favorites, so on and so forth. The map, you can see it located us right away. This does have the pinch to zoom map. So it's really cool, almost like tablet style. Um, system here. Within map view you can change it to 2D, 3D. This does pick up landmarks so you can see buildings, things like that. Really cool system. Uh, go ahead and pair your phone again um, just like you would uh, with any other radio. Just hit yes and then start the pairing procedure on your phone. Settings menu again. I wanted to show you guys uh, within display, theme, 
you do have a lot more themes with the UAS and UAQ system, up to 17 different themes. So really cool kind of come in here and play around a little bit, see something that you like, and you can stick with it. Okay. Um, one thing now I want to point out is the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto feature. That is an awesome safety feature and really, really neat. So let's check that out. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the Apple CarPlay functionality. So plug your factory lightning cable into the bottom of your phone. And you'll notice on the screen, you'll have CarPlay. So if you press that, you now have Apple CarPlay right here in your Jeep. Such an awesome feature. So uh, this is actually the new CarPlay. They, with the new iOS, they did come up with a revised CarPlay. So this is it here. Pretty neat. Um, easy access to the Apple Maps through here. Uh, music, food, drink, shopping. Uh, but here you have your apps, right? So there's several different apps you can download on your phone and have mirrored through CarPlay. If you go to Apple CarPlay's website, it'll tell you the apps that are fully featured with CarPlay. Uh, but just a quick demo. You can make and receive phone calls. Those of you who have Apple Music, get into that. Uh, get into your playlist, all that. Apple Maps, obviously, awesome feature there. Messages, this will actually read text messages to you while you're driving. A little, a little notification comes up, you hit it, it'll read the text message to you and allow you to respond to it. You don't have to take your hands off the wheel. So, awesome safety feature uh, there. Uh, now playing will show you whatever um, music service you're currently listening to. You can easily access it there. Podcasts, for those of you who like podcasts, <clears throat> check out the ITR, that's Infotainment Talk Radio that we do here at infotainment.com. little plug for them. Audiobooks, calendar, I mean there's so many different ones you can choose from. Google Maps, some of you like Google Maps. You get the um, satellite view, which is really cool, similar to like the Tesla. So um, you can, uh, through settings, get into the satellite view, so that's really cool. Uh, and then, as I mentioned, you can pinch to zoom, come in, come out. Tells you the traffic, obviously, where there's being holdups. Uh, so that's really neat. Um, Sirius XM, those of you who have Sirius XM on your phone can access it through there. Uh, Pandora, Waze, another great um, navigation feature there. So just really, really cool, guys. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. This particular system here, as I mentioned, is the UAQ because it has NAV. If it didn't have NAV, it would be the UAS. This system works from 2014 to 2020. So now I'm going to show you guys our last featured radio, which is the UAV. Um, it's the top model for the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, so let's get started. All right, guys, now we're going to install the UAV system. All right, this is an awesome system. This is what Jeep considers their top model for the Grand Cherokee. And here at Infotainment, we sell these pre-programmed for the 2014 to 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So this is going to be an awesome upgrade here. Show you guys how to install it, similar to the other radios. Um, you just plug in all the connectors here. This does include a separate connector. Okay, this connector here is the LVDS cable. This is for video, okay? So we're gonna plug it in um, and then kind of just sneak it through down here um, so it just kind of sticks out the bottom. Um, but other than that, we're gonna plug all the same stuff in, just like before. All right, now to get this to fit in, you kind of have to, to play with it a little bit. Take your time. Um, if you kind of come in at an angle, you can go ahead and stick some of the extra cabling behind it. Come in at an angle and go up. And then if you look down here, you kind of move it and wiggle it a little bit. What you'll notice is 
can start putting it back and then it falls right into place okay uh, be careful of the LVDS cable that's down there because it does fit real snug in there whenever you're installing uh, but once you finagle it back you can go ahead and go ahead and install those same four screws okay now something I want to point out just real quick the 2014 Grand Cherokee if you have a 2014 Grand Cherokee with heated seats, vented seats, or heated wheel. There is an extra little module that we do sell uh, which helps you retain those features. Okay, so that's 2014 Grand Cherokees only if you have heated seats, vented seats, or heated steering wheel. Um, we do have a separate video that shows you how to, to install that, um, but I wanted to point that out for not only this system, but also the UAS and the UAQ that pertains to. Okay, um, now that's installed, we have our four screws in. Uh, we can go ahead and install our screen. All right, guys, now we're going to install the UAV display system here. Um, we did design a cable because you are going to retain this one cable down here, which you've had this whole time, has been plugging into the climate control, but now you have an additional cable uh, you need to plug in. So we designed this cable here um, using factory keyed connectors. So you're going to plug one end there. The other end we're going to plug in down here. And we're going to plug the factory connector into here. That allows it to communicate with the vehicle. Okay? And then our LVDS that we ran before is simply going to install right there. So we can go ahead and do that now. And then we're going to kind of just tuck the wiring up and back a little bit. And then simply just pop it into place. All right, guys, now that this particular bezel and screen is all buttoned up and in its place, um, I did want to notate and let you know that if you have the 2014 to 2017, you have to replace your media hub. Earlier in the video, I showed how to do that. If you have a 2018, 19, or 20, you don't even need to worry about it, okay? But when doing this UAV upgrade for 2014 through 2017, you do need to replace that media hub. That's for CarPlay and Android Auto use. Another thing I wanted to point out real quick, sometimes the vents are included when we buy this from Mopar. Sometimes they are not. But the vents on your existing factory bezel... Um, it does just pop right off and they pop right on to this one uh, uh, under the replacement bezel. So I just wanted to throw that out too. Now, the last part of the installation for the UAV system is the OBD Genie Programmer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the vehicle in the run position. We're going to insert this into the OBD2 port. We're going to wait for the green light. Then we're going to shut the vehicle off. So let's do that now. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install the Genie Programmer into the OBD2 port. So what we're waiting for is the green light. Once we have the green light, we can remove it. Now that we have the green light, we can go ahead and pull it and stow it. All right, we just ran the Genie Programmer. We went ahead and turned the vehicle off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the actual UAV system marry itself to the vehicle's BCM in configuration. So in order for that to happen, it needs to go into a sleep cycle, which means we're going to turn the vehicle off, we're going to close the doors, lock it, let it sit 15, 20 minutes, come back out and try it. Sometimes it takes up to an hour for the, the whole configuration to happen between the BCM and the radio itself. So we're going to go ahead and uh, close the doors and lock it up right now. All right, guys, we went ahead and let the vehicle sleep for a bit to configure itself to the vehicle's computer. Um, so now that it's done that, let's go ahead and fire it up and check it out. So right away, you see the high-resolution HD display. Uh, crystal clear. It's such a nice display here. Um, we have uh, AM, FM with HD radio. We have Sirius XM 
uh, with album art and um, the art for the stations, which is kind of cool. Media, again, you have Bluetooth streaming audio, aux, USB. Climate is the same. Apps will show you the uh, different apps available. Uh, this one has the Sirius Travel Link, an extra subscription through Sirius uh, XM. You can get um, weather maps, Sirius XM traffic, um, which will show you congestion, stuff like that. Um, sports scores, movie listings, local fuel prices. Um, cool little feature there through Sirius XM. You do have the embedded GPS navigation, similar to the UAQ. Um, so you can go to where you need to go here. The directions come out of the speakers, and the turn-by-turn -turn will show up in your speedometer cluster, which is kind of neat. You notice it did pinpoint our location immediately. It does have the pinch-to-zoom feature, similar to like a tablet. Uh, really cool. It does have 2D, 3D maps with uh, 3D landmarks. Um, the phone, you do want to re reconnect your phone, so go ahead and hit yes to do that. And the settings menu, you can come in here and change different vehicle settings as well. Um, one thing in particular I wanted to show on the UAV system is the theme. You can come in here and change the theme or wallpaper of your Jeep to make it a little bit more custom, which is really neat. Just an awesome feature, guys. 100% pre-programmed for your Jeep. We just need your VIN number. It's all plug and play. Your backup camera, your steering wheel controls, um, Bluetooth hands-free, all plug and play. Such an awesome upgrade. All right, guys. Now I want to show you how Apple CarPlay works. So you go ahead and plug your factory lightning cable into the USB hub. Plug it into your phone. And then you'll notice a little soft key icon that says CarPlay. Now you have Apple CarPlay right here in your Jeep. Um, such an awesome thing here, guys. Earlier in the video, I kind of explained um, how these all work. It's the exact same way. You can come in here and access your maps, your messages, podcasts. There's a whole bunch of different apps that will marry from your phone to the CarPlay system here. If you go to Apple CarPlay's website on Apple.com, it'll tell you all the different apps that configure itself to uh, the this, this system here. Um, you can also do Siri. You can ask Siri questions by pressing and holding the button down here in the corner. Um, so just an awesome upgrade. Very clean, high definition quality for your Jeep Grand Cherokee. We do so much more here at infotainment.com rather than just the radio upgrades. We now do full leather, custom leather for your vehicle. We'll show you how to install it too. So you can find that on our website. Some of you guys with the Jeep Grand Cherokee don't even have a backup camera. We do have plug and play backup camera kits that work uh, with all of our infotainment upgrades. Um, pretty soon we're gonna be offering uh, the front LED uh, HD headlights that you see kind of on the overlands and the limiteds. Um, we are going to offer a plug and play upgrade there. We have so many more products for the Jeep Grand Cherokee, all factory parts at infotainment.com. Thanks for watching, guys.